should I take these off? I went to the charity shop to buy some goodies. And I just wanted to sound like this, but if this pisses you off, I will take them off for the next video. Welcome back everyone. This week we're doing something a little different, but also not a little different. We're just gonna get ready together. We're gonna do a simple, cute. I'm gonna put an inspo pick on here of the look I'm doing today, but today is not focused on the products, although I will leave them all linked in the description box below if you are wondering, in case I forget to mention it. Today we're focusing on the technique that you use while using your products because we don't all have time and money to go and buy new products all the time, but sometimes we want to change the way our makeup looks. So that's what I'm here to do today. So the first thing I have learned and it's taken me a lot as a brow babe to get in swing with this one and to understand that using my actual brow shape to fill in my brows rather than just trying to create a whole new brow on my face so much more flattering i like to brush my brow hairs up but i'm not a fan of that stuck up laminated brow look so i kind of like lift them up and then i'll just like neaten them a little bit but i'll make sure the brow hairs are still lifted but they're not out of place i try and trim my brows to keep them i can do a whole video on how i tint and do my brows because i've been doing them differently recently i don't know if you've noticed much darker i tinted these like three or four days ago so they're really like that's my first tip if you've got brow and you're not concerned with changing the shape use it use it to your advantage we're gonna go in with skincare now, a lot of people do their skincare before their brows but i personally with that brow gel don't find a need to do it separately i have really been loving this quarterly toner this one came in the amelia olivia cosmetic cosmetic tip i can't say that word and i love this i've been using it quite often actually i don't really do toners that often although i have been as of recently because i'm not sure what she is what does this mean why are you on one cheek and not the other like this one's completely clear but this one's just acting out so anyways next this might seem strange setting spray before moisturizer something about blending in your setting spray with your moisturizer this matches my new robe by the way how sweet i like blending my setting spray into my moisturizer because i find it melts my moisturizer my primer and everything together a lot nicer i use so much setting spray throughout my makeup anyway that's another tip but we'll get to that setting spray so go grab your setting spray if you haven't already got it next to you because you're gonna need that beach oh i don't know why i did that that really hurt this is now the step where i'd either go in with my primer or bronzing drops so if you are using bronzing drops do that now before you go in with your primer but i am not going to use these because i don't know i just can't bother doing it primer just use it okay it doesn't really matter which one i love this milk hydro grip primer if i'm doing a bit more of a full b vibe and then i also love this bobby brown vitamin enriched face base for more of those daytime vibes but today i'm gonna go with this am i yeah i'm gonna go with this i haven't used this in a minute so i'm gonna go in with light foundation slash tinted moisturizer vibe i find that using a lighter foundation allows me to just build and build and build is that a parcel i hope it's for me what the fuck is my package the cream bronzer Here's where another tip comes in. So personally, I like to take an angle brush, but if you haven't got an angle brush, it doesn't really matter. I just prefer to use one. Take your cream bronzer. Don't look at my mind's grace. This one is the Rose and Caramel Wonder Blur bronzer. I love this, very nice. We're gonna go from the top of your ear. We're not gonna contour from here. We're gonna contour right here. You see where my light is reflecting? Just underneath that, okay? And this is why I think having a glowy foundation really helps with this because you can see where the light's naturally reflecting versus where it's naturally going in. I personally don't like to take it past the center of my eyeball just because it really starts to make the inside of my mouth look really muddy. You see how being from the top of my ear has brought that cheek in rather than just having it all up and exposed. Bring your bronzer up really lightly. Whatever's left on your brush, that's what you're gonna use on your forehead and then you're gonna blend it back in to that theme. Love to make this part look a bit wider, this part a bit skinnier. You know, just give that chisel vibe. So using whatever's left on my brush from the top, this part is gonna have the least amount of product and then again, where you first initially applied it, it's gonna have the most. It's drawing that face in, it's getting snatched. Let's just pop it on the end of my nose and then a bit on the outer corners of my eyelids. It's quite easy to go, oh, like that, but then you're gonna come straight. It's not gonna give you that. You can't draw straight lines on a bent object. It doesn't work for that contour. Let's move on to the blusher, one of my fave parts. Honestly, don't have too many tips and tricks in regards to blusher. You're gonna want product on your brush if you do like to apply it to your face put some product on your brush because it's going to stop it from lifting as you're applying it start 
right where you contoured. It's gonna blend it all together. You're gonna think, oh, I can't really see my contour. You kind of just want it to like, where does her contour blusher end? Do you know what I mean? You want that seamless look because the color tones are gonna give what you need regardless. I just like to start right from where I started applying that bronzer and I kind of use the same motion. I stippled most of it in this section, bring it in just before my eyeball stops. And then I also bring it up into that bronzer into the eye and then whatever is left on my brush, I just run that and blend in the edges of everything. Seamless. Beach, grab your setting spray. Set that bitch in place. Now this is where having a light foundation has come in handy because you can just, just layer in certain places that you want to add a bit more to again. I'm gonna clean up the contour we did again. Start of the ear. Start of the ear. You feel me? Don't worry if you blend out too much of your blusher. You're gonna be fine. We're gonna add some more. Because we haven't done too much of anything, we can add. This is probably honestly my top tip, I might even put it number one. I don't have a powder puff, but I would suggest a powder puff, that's a really good tip. But I don't know where mine is. I like a translucent powder, because I can just not care where I put it. Give it a nice set. This is gonna remove all shine you thought you had, gone. But, I like to add shine back in. And that's where Hula Bronzer comes in, the glow. Can you see that side versus this side? Okay. This doesn't look blended, but this is a spot. Okay. Eyeshadow, I have low-key been just loving pink. So I'm going to just go and do a little pink vibe. I'm going to take this pink right here and just apply that. Terracotta 2, which is like a orangey colour. And I'm popping that now onto my lid. I haven't even blended that, but can you see how it already looks like it's going to blend with just one more eyeshadow? Because we put that layer base colour down. So now I'm going to take this light pink and I'm going to use this as my buffing colour. And you'll see how little I have to blend because of the layers that I already used. That base under there already looks like I did bits. Onions have layers. So with liquid eyeliner, I don't have many hacks. I'm not gonna lie, I am very much a cold to eyeshadow babe myself. So that's what I'm gonna teach you what I do today. First of all, I take a brown. I like brown because it blends into a lot more colors than black does. Okay, let's try and do this so you can see. Normally, I would have started my eyeliner just from here and drawn a line out. Can you see where the white of my eye ends? That's where you're gonna wanna draw your line up off. I can just draw an outwards one here. Can you see the difference that drawing it from just that just that one singular line from where my white ended versus just drawing it straight out from where my eye ends? Can you see the lift, period? And that's why I like to do it with brown, purely because you can just sketch it out, rub it out, mess it up a little bit. Black is a little bit more scary, but we will be going in with black later, so. It's nice to have a little guideline. Can you see how it just my eye just drops and then this comes back up? Everything in that space, I'm pretty much just gonna fill in like that. Literally as simple as that. Make it look somewhat neat. Bring it in as much as I need. And that is honestly as simple as it is. Also, you don't have to worry about it being dead the same when you're using a cold eyeliner. Once I've done that brown eyeliner, I like to go in with just a, an angled brush and a black eyeshadow or brown, but today I'm using black. I just like to define my lash line a slightly bit more, just to also set that in place. Don't really touch the shape of what I've created with. And then I kind of just play around with it. But I think the main thing is going from the white of your eye, not the corner of your eye with your eyeliner. For face, I'm going to now go in with my powder blusher. Take on a little blush. And I love this one. This one and this one mixed are my faves. I start from the outer. And then what's ever left of my brush is just going to come in. For me, I just am a sucker for the Scott Barnes. And my makeup just never looks right without finishing it off with a bit of matte bronzer. And also a little bit of contour. One of my new favourite hacks is a mascara primer, which I found you can also use brow gel for. So 
you might already have that so that's why i wanted to include this hack i can't find my eyelash curler which is a bit annoying i like to apply it like while i'm doing my lips that it can dry a little bit but i don't like it to be completely dry so it's like just timing it a little bit i'm just applying this ColourPop ultra blotted lip um liquid lip i am obsessed with their blotted lips if you like liquid lipsticks but you don't like the color of liquid lipsticks and how heavy they feel defo go and check out these blotted lip things from ColourPop. in regards to lips i'm just gonna take a lip liner from this palette maybe this one because i saw my friend using it and it's so good this is the pixie louis row um lip and cheek palette and this is just beautiful because it has a bit of everything really my lip pack at the moment only overlining a top lip extremely i mean i overline it a tiny bit just because i like to get that shape just very slightly but i love most of the overlining being on the top lip because i find it gives that like you know <laughs> you know what i'm saying just take my translucent setting powder and just set that in place i'm gonna take the hourglass vanish mascara because i really enjoy this one and i'm just gonna start putting this through my lashes right i'm gonna wait come back and i'll show you a little hack on how to remove your mascara off your lid a bit more left to do to the brows time to remove this little situation we had get mascara on your face it's probably a well known but i might as well add it in just wait for it to completely dry and it should just scrape off just like that with a spoolie. I personally love to go in with a tight line, black, brown. Personally, I'm going for a bronzy colour just because of the brown eyeliner I've done. And I love just absolutely colouring my eye with this. Just do it. It will give that sultry, sultry vibe. To do your little inner corners. I don't make these too neat. People always ask me how I do them. If you actually look at them, they're never neat. If you see them in real life, they're never neat. I kind of like the messy vibe. It's just me. Setting spray. Again, I'm so sorry for the shadow. It's because the lighting is going down. I need to remember to film in the, in the daytime now because we are no longer in the summer. Setting spray. I take eyebrow pencil, brow product, whatever. And I'm just going to start giving my brows a little bit of oomph. Something I'll do my brows with the ends has just given me that extra care to take because I, like I was saying at the start of the video, I ended up drawing on completely different brow shapes, but if the rest of my makeup looks good, I tend to draw on less brows. So I just, I've been doing it at the end, finding it easier. And my last step, instead of highlighter, I've been loving adding a glowy blush. I'm personally gonna use this one from Ciate. I love this Ciate Glow range. This is like one very similar to the blush that we already had on. And for me, this just, it just adds that shine to it. And that is my makeup hacks that I've learned throughout my time doing makeup that have changed my makeup game without changing the products. Obviously changing your products, trying new products, that's gonna change your makeup as well. But you don't have to buy new products to change the way your makeup looks. So if you found any of these tips useful and you found any that you didn't know before, please let me know down below. This was just a select few that are my favourites to help. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed. I will catch you again with another video this week. I think I'm going to do a vlog. I think it's a vlog vibe. So I think that's what we need. We need a bit of a chill vibe. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your support. And yeah i'll make sure to leave all the products linked down below thank you guys so much for watching i love you i'll see you next week Deuces.